Hi everyone, it's Bridget with Bees Altered Designs. Um, I am in a embellishment blowout swap hop hosted by Marisol Pearls and we had to do two inches, two puzzle pieces, two flowers, two tags, two bottle caps, two stick pins, two embellishments of our choice, a chunky charm, and we are also having to send 24 sheets of color or scrapbooking paper six by six. Now, this Marisol is hosting this hop, and the deadline is April 15th, and the deadline for you guys to comment is April 22nd <clears throat> at midnight, Eastern Standard Time. And what you have to do is you have to just, it's a video hop, so you just hop around to the different videos, and there's 20 plus videos, I believe, in this hop, and you have to comment on all of them. And she will pick a name from all of those comments. Winner will receive a $25 prize to their PayPal account. And um, I guess let's get started. So I had to do two stick pins. So I did one like this with the filigree on the bottom. And I just kind of decorated the top with a butterfly and some flowers. And there was a hole in this petal. So I stuck some charms on here. So that's my first stick pen. This is my second stick pen. I did this one really, really simple. And then I did, two, you had to do two flowers, so I did a rolled rose and I did one of these um, flowers. I forgot what you call them, but it's just where you cut round circles, different size round circles, and you layer them on top of each other, like scattered, and then you burn the edges. Or you burn the edges and then you lay them on top of each other. And then I put three pearls in the middle and I placed them on a doily. Then I had to do two inches, and I did a beach theme on this one, and I did just a little birdie scene on this one. This is just a silver um, charm, lighthouse charm I had in my stash. And I just put some like cheesecloth underneath and some seashells there. And then this one is just, I made a bird cage out of string pearls and put two little pearls inside as her eggs. And then just a flower there and I had some lace trim that I put around here. So those are my inchies. <clears throat> we'll do my puzzle pieces. This is my first puzzle piece, and I kind of did a Paris theme. There's a Paris stamp, the Eiffel Tower um, is there. And I put this Metro, because it had the pink, it matched really perfectly. A feather, some Wild Orchid Craft flowers. This is a roll of dance tickets. There's a shoe here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a shoe there, and I just dangled this off the back, off this, this end. And then I stuck one of these like necklace um, attachments on here. I figured she can either hang it or, you know, whatever she wants to do with it. Some washi tape on the back just to finish off the back. And then this one I did a sewing theme. I like to do themes. I don't know. I, I, I craft better when there's a theme instead of just throwing a whole bunch of stuff on a piece of paper and I don't know. Anyways, um, this is, I'm picking my glues, I'm sorry. So I cut this little tiny dress form out and I made her up and set her, I have a metal bobbin here that has this ruler trim on it and a half a th um, thread on here with some floss on it to make it look like it's thread. Then there's a sewing machine here. I love these little sewing machines. They actually even say Singer on them. Love them. I got them in Miriam Crafting Supplies on Facebook. And little scissors and another spool of thread and a button here. And then this is some lace that I just folded up and tied with some mesh um, string. And then the rest of this is, is there's the paper is patterns. And it just has some glossy accents over it. So that's that, and then here's my first tag. I have to work on tags, not, I don't know. But these are all silk flowers. I have a wood, um, a wood piece here. It's a 
I think I got it from Michael's. I'm not really sure. And then some, um, these are resin piece birds. Um, Prima, I believe. So, and then I just made a, a stem of flowers here and some ribbon here. So that's it. Just pretty basic. And I put some bling here. And then this one, when you go to Tuesday mornings, our Tuesday mornings doesn't have any graphic 45 papers anymore. But you know, you get the pack of, of papers that has like 15 of the same paper in it. Well, I had picked up a few of those when I first came on um, YouTube and discovered what graphic 45 was. And I was so excited. So I had had this um, the, um, on the boardwalk papers. I think I have two different papers. But front and back, it's a total of four, so I decided, well, um, since I wanted to layer a little bit, I'm going to use that paper for my tag. So this is what I did with my tag. So this is the Graphic 45 paper on the boardwalk, and I made my own flowers, and I just fussy cutted pieces of the paper out and kind of made my own tag. I lifted this up, so I cut it twice, and I just put some stickles on, some gold stickles on here so it would pop. And I cut her out, and I cut them out up there, and just some more flowers, and this says Coney Island, New York. I love going to Coney Island. It's so awesome down there. And then I just put an island in there. I didn't put any string on there yet. So, and I pop dotted that up, and I just have some things like whimsical, fun time down here, and I just have some bling. There's a butterfly here. So, and then I believe these are Prima tags. I had gotten them in a swap. I'm sorry, I don't remember who sent them to me, but I kind of turned it over so this would be the nicer side. So that's my, my second tag. And then my bottle caps. I just did one really simple. I put it on a magnet so she can hang it. I'm very, like, into, it's got to be useful. So, and I just stuck, um, I cut out from some chalkboard paper that I had gotten. I don't, honestly don't remember what the name of the paper line is, but um, it says, enjoy the little things. And I just put a little Wild Orchid Craft flower there, and this is um, a metal flower spray that I glued there so she can hang that. It's a magnet. And then this one, I'm going to do a tutorial on this one. I saw one of these on Pinterest, and I had been wanting to do them. I got a bag of um, beer caps, um, bottle caps, I'm sorry. And um, I've been saving them up, and I thought, oh my gosh, this is the perfect, perfect swap to do this in, because we had to alter the bottle caps. This bottom base is the bottle cap. Let me show it to you, so I'm not shaking it all around. This is a birdhouse and I just think this is so adorable. I love this one. And, of course, I'm going to do a tutorial on this. And probably it will be my second one that I ever do. And my firsts always come out really good. And then when I do them again, they just... So I'm hoping that my tutorial video will come out really good. Um, I put felt, of course. I think felt is a staple for me in my craft room. So I put felt just to make the bottom look nice and clean because this is filled with um, glue, hot glue. And I just put one little flower there. And I have this, um, this Ashland moss strip. And that's what I used for the inside here. And I have a silk flower up here. And, of course, these are those Prima birds again. They worked out perfectly. They're, they're small enough. It's just super cute. But I love this. You know, some wild orchid car flowers. I mean, these would be beautiful, like, favors for a wedding. These are so super cute. I just love them. So, anyways, so that was that. And then my last two things were we had to do our own embellishments, whatever we wanted to do. So I had saw Industrial Chic had these, and I think I have the original. Let me see if I can find, yeah. This is the original, just so you guys know. Yes, I did copy this. This is the original, and it was Industrial Chic. I had gotten it at Michael's, and I said, oh my gosh, I have copper. I have actual copper metal that I can cut these and make, a, make some of these. So, um, I did, and this is what I came up with. Um, it's thinner, 
but what I did was I used my crocodile and I put I cut this out and then I used my crocodile and I used eyelets. Put some ribbon in here and then of course the um, the uh, the wire and some beads hanging off of here. And this is actual. I believe I glittered this with the glossy accents. So I kind of like made the dress form pop a little. So this is the original, this is the one I made. So um, I made a whole bunch of these. I th thought they were super cute and I sent them to people. But um, And then I made my own flower spray, of course, because I'm on this big kick of flower sprays. I don't know why I keep buying these things. I just, I don't know, I just, I really like doing these. And, and the possibilities are endless when it comes to flower sprays. Um, it's like you can do just about anything and they come out so beautiful. I love working with wire because it's just so bendable and so this is this is what I did for the second embellishment for my um, swap partner who is Jackie J. Colby by the way. I didn't mention that before. So those are the embellishments the, the doubles that we had to do and then we had to do one chunky charm. Let me move this out of the way so I can bring my chunky charm over. So we had to do one chunky charm and I did a cork chunky charm. It's pretty big so I used one of those fish hooks for the um, clasp and then some filigree flowers. Um, this one and this one are the same ones. This one I just happened to bend over. Me picking my spider webs from the glue gun and then this is a flat filigree also that I just cut and I bent in different directions I put another flat filigree on top so I could put this flower here and this is just an acrylic flower and I wanted to accent this color on this and I only did a little bit of that color on this I did here and then when you turn it around there's a butterfly there and here is one of those um, bead caps that kind of lay like um, almost like a bouquet of flowers would lay like a bouquet of roses so I did a little bouquet inside of there with that color and I put a crown there and then for my charms I just have random butterfly charms I really wanted to accent the butterflies I, I just love butterflies and some wings um, here and a rose and some so here again I did the um, the accent of that color here and another one here just subtle and then there's a bike and there's a key and there's a watch and more butterflies so that is my chunky charm I'll have still pictures of it at the end so that is um, the embellishment blowout swap hop and um, I guess that's it and just check out the information below on this video and um, good luck to everybody thanks for watching